Hey guys, what's going on? It's East Bangers here, and today we're talking about five tips on how to be better at metal detecting. Research, guys. Do your research. There's tons of videos on YouTube. You're planning on going somewhere new. You're not sure what to expect. Other people have encountered it, so go check it out. Learn from what they've done wrong and learn from what they've done right. Pick up a couple tips here and there from their video. And depending on what you're looking for when you're going to be metal detecting, you can make that decision on whether or not you even want to go to that place. So it's important. Preparation is also very key. But research, I would have to say, guys, is number one. Just looking at that place and saying, is that somewhere I want to go? I've only got so much time today and I want to make sure that I'm efficient with it. And uh, so yeah, guys, research, 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 and it'll help you prepare better for where you're going to be spending your time that day. So preparation, guys, make sure you got water, make sure you got a first aid kit, make sure you change the batteries inside your metal detector and your pinpointer. It's uh, important, guys, and uh, you don't know how long you're going to be out there and personal experience, my metal detector lasts quite a bit on a charge, but you never know. So it's always good to be prepared for anything that might happen. And yeah, you don't want to get out there and not have everything you need. First aid kit, waters, like I said before, check the weather, stuff like that. Just always put yourself in a situation to be successful and achieve what you set out to do. So third is choosing the right metal detector, guys. And this is really going to depend on how you like to metal detect and what you're after. Personally, I like to dig everything. I think it's interesting. I think it's unique. You never know what you're going to pull up. So I like to dig it all, but some people don't. Some people are very focused on finding certain things, whether it be historical, whatever it is, metal, you know, gold, silver, whatever you want to find. But Obviously, that's going to uh, very much so determine whether or not you're going to have some $100 metal detector or you're going to have a $300 metal detector. So you got to make up that choice for yourself. How interested in this are you going to be if you're a beginner? It's a fun sport for sure. And honestly, I would start out with something small like 100 bucks. That's what I got. I got the Bounty Hunter 5 and I love it. Like I said, I like to dig everything. So those frequencies can often be confusing and especially for a beginner. So if you're just looking for something that's going to be like, hey, this is gold, this is silver, you're going to want to go with something that's going to be a little bit more expensive. But obviously, like I said, it's going to be tailored to really what you want to do and uh, the future of what you want to do with metal detecting. So another one, guys, is double check your holes. So sometimes you'll find something and you wouldn't even think to really hit that spot again. But usually when you find something, there's something right behind it, something close by. So don't ever rule anything out and always metal detect where you have dug twice if you found something. It's really important. I've done a lot of research on it and it actually leads to a lot of more finds and more quality finds. So also, guys, your holes, make sure to fill your holes. It's really important because when doing this, you're just leaving everything as you found it. And a lot of people like that. If you don't leave stuff as you find it, over time, I already know a lot of the ordinance out there that have been created and just the way people leave things when they're done is a lot of the reason why we have so many no metal detecting signs because people weren't respectful and people went about this in the wrong way completely. And it also just led to a lot of people looking down on people who metal detect. So it's not a good idea. Just make sure you guys plug your holes back when you're done. And if you want to bring flags, it's a great idea, guys. Sometimes you're out there and you're looking down often, and a lot of the uh, scenery you're going to be around looks the same. So if you bring flags, it allows you to create a perimeter where you've searched already. And then once you've finished, you can move your flags accordingly to create new perimeters based on which way you're headed. But I hope this video helped, guys. I will hope you guys are more successful in metal detecting after listening. And hopefully you learned a little bit or just enjoyed the video. So thanks for listening. Don't forget to subscribe and like.